is this molecule aromatic? Notice that we have double bonds at the bottom, and up here we have an unpaired electron. So this molecule is a radical. So let's determine whether this molecule is aromatic. Let's count the pi electrons. Two pi electrons in this pi bond, two pi electrons in this pi bond. And what is the top carbon doing with its p orbital? It's going to put the unpaired electron in a pi bond. So how many pi electrons do we have total? Five. Five pi electrons. So clearly the molecule is not aromatic. Now, the number five is not in this list either. So actually, um, I don't think this would be considered an anti-aromatic compound either. I think this would be considered a non-aromatic compound. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think this molecule would be considered non-aromatic. Now, of course, it's not going to be very stable because it has a radical. Uh, generally speaking, we know that radicals um, tend to make a molecule less stable. Um, however, I don't think that it would be less stable than you would expect. Uh, remember that anti-aromatic doesn't just mean lo uh, low stability in general. It means that the molecule has even less stability than you would otherwise expect. Well, we wouldn't expect this molecule to be, to be too stable in the first place because it's a radical. Um, but I don't think it's going to have even less stability than you would expect. So maybe we should just call it uh, non-aromatic. Actually, this molecule would probably be a little bit more stable than you would expect because there's a bunch of resonance forms that help to stabilize uh, the unpaired electron over here. All right, in any case, the molecule definitely does not fall into the aromatic category. This molecule definitely does not fall into the aromatic uh, category. It definitely would not be a lot more stable than we would generally expect. Uh, now I'm going to ask you uh, a little bit of a puzzle problem. Is it possible for a radical ever to be aromatic? Is it possible for a radical ever to be aromatic? Can a radical ever be aromatic? It's an interesting puzzle. So why don't you try stopping the video and thinking about that for a bit. Can a molecule with an unpaired electron ever be aromatic? OK, I hope you gave that brain teaser uh, some thought. Uh, and there is a way for a radical to be aromatic with a single unpaired electron. It looks like benzene, but there's an unpaired electron on this top carbon. So let's try to determine whether this molecule is aromatic or non-aromatic. Give that a shot. Let's count the pi electrons. We know there's two pi electrons in each pi bond. How about this carbon at the top? It's sp2 hybridized, so it has one p orbital. What is this carbon doing with its p orbital? Well, we know it's using its p orbital for the pi bond. We'll label this electron with a p to show that it's in a p orbital. Therefore, the unpaired electron cannot be in a p orbital, because the p orbital has already been used up. This carbon must be using one of its sp2 orbitals for the unpaired electron. And therefore, the unpaired electron is not a pi electron. The unpaired electron is not a pi electron. So how many electrons are there total? Six, an even number. Six pi electrons, which puts us in this list, the compound is aromatic. This is an aromatic compound. Um, remember that the puzzle was, how can a radical possibly be aromatic? 
Um, we knew that in order to be aromatic, you have to have an even number of pi electrons. And it seemed like there's no way that a radical could have an even number of pi electrons. But there is a way, because the unpaired electron does not have to be a pi electron. Here, the unpaired electron is not a pi electron. So it's not making the number of pi electrons odd, and since we have an even number of pi electrons. And this molecule is aromatic. Uh, by the way, of course, because this does have an unpaired electron, um, it's not going to be the most stable compound in the world. It's going to be somewhat unstable because of the unpaired electron. But remember that aromatic just means a lot more stable than you would otherwise expect. Well, this molecule would be a lot more stable than we would otherwise expect a radical to be. But of course, it's not going to be as stable as the benzene would be if it was just normal benzene and not a radical.